Okay, hey guys and welcome to the video you've all been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. Now guys, I come to you with really, really good news and um, yeah, let's get right into it then. So, um, we've recently had the exploit for the PS4 firmware 4.05 released. Now, um, Spectre Dev has gone ahead and released this, it was about maybe four days ago from now. And um, yeah, with this exploit, he's, uh, he's given us a little bit of access. So we've got uh, obviously the kernel exploit here, and um, he's worked along with Quadio PR to actually get the user land exploit for this. Now, um, I'll explain to you a little bit of the background with this at the moment. So far, he hasn't really released anything in terms of piracy and whatnot. Of course, now um, he wouldn't he wouldn't want to have that package, obviously for legal reasons. Um, the exploit is more than capable of doing that as long as you guys are able to weaponize it correctly. But um, essentially, what we've got now is just an exploit that runs, and um, obviously this is through the dev kit sorry the web kit as well so you do it through the web browser and you launch the exploit as you can see here in um in this image that greg has posted so uh with that being said you need to run this server yourself on your own computer at home to um to be able to actually you know get your ps4 to log onto it or not log on to it to connect to it and then actually be able to uh exploit itself now you guys might be thinking is this like a normal jailbreak? Well, it is and it isn't. So, in terms of, it will be able to give you the same similar access as the uh, jailbreak would, but the thing is, with this one here, every time you turn off the PS4, it'll be reset. So, once you turn it back on again, you will need to open up the browser again, go to your web page that um, you have obviously created from your computer or your web server, obviously navigate to that and uh, from there you'll be able to trigger the exploit again and the PS4 will be back in the exploit mode. Now um, what he has actually released, Spectre Dev, is he's released a file that will let you enable the uh, the actual developer options as you can see here they've got the video with the debug settings. Now. Um, with that as well, the way that it works is when you've got the uh, server running, it waits for a payload. So as you can see here, it says waiting for a payload. Now, you would run this file and you would um, tell the computer to send it to your PS4. So once it sends the payload to the PS4, the PS4 goes and executes it and it runs whatever the payload has on it. So for this one here, it would just be obviously patching a couple things so that you can run the debug settings. Now, to my understanding is you can open debug settings, but I don't think any of the actual features or functions in there currently work. Now, I haven't tested this myself as I still have yet to set this all up, but I thought I would make a video on it telling you guys pretty much how it works and how you can get the files and uh, try and do it yourself in the meantime. I will be making a tutorial on how to do it as well, but um, for the time being, this is just a little bit of news for you guys so that you guys know what's coming. Now, also, there is still a little bit of work to come with this, of course, as um, there needs to be other things to be done so that you can run backups and stuff like that. And um, the homebrews, of course. But for now, this is a very, uh, very, very good way to obviously hype everyone up because uh, this shows that there is something coming and this is something that is out there for everyone now. So if you want to download anything like this and uh, all the links will be in the description of course I will link you to this forum which uh, has all the information and I have also gone and posted in the forum as well here so this is my post now you will need firmware 4.05 so I've got a link for it which I will show you up here so I've actually got this from uh, this user over here 0 Z sorry 072463 now he's uh got a whole list of firmwares here which um with with the actual you know checksums here so that you can confirm and make sure they're the right ones now um you can go and download your 4.05 from here otherwise i've also got another link here 
where um, this one seems to have a lot more firmwares included and uh, other stuff as well. So I'll link both of them. The one that I've downloaded is the one from GBA Temp, but this one is also looks to be trusted. Of course, use these at your own uh, risk. I would um I would probably recommend them over some of the other dodgy things you could find on the internet. But um again, I'm not responsible if anything happens to your console if you install one of these firmwares. And um, also with the exploit, this will be the GitHub from the actual uh, creator, which are you can really grab the files from so is the uh, explanation I've already gone ahead and cloned this github as well but uh, you can go ahead you can google for this or I will have it uh, in the description and um, you can go ahead and download these files as well and then you obviously need to download a program to help you create the web server but um, apart from that that seems to be pretty much everything for this news um, yeah, this will be a good a uh, good way to start off 2018, and um, a very nice gift from the developer. So, if you guys have any questions or anything about what I've said here, don't forget to leave a comment in the description in the description. Sorry, and I will do my best to help you out with it as much as I can. And um, also, stay tuned for more. I will have a tutorial coming, and I will probably have a lot more content coming out soon as I will be all over this 4.05 jailbreak. So, if you guys uh, yeah, want to just leave a subscribe and um, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Bye.